What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about memorization techniques for um, for uh, students, for medical students, for nursing students, law students, pharmacy students, whatever program that you're in, whatever you're studying in college, if you're in graduate school, uh, you can use these uh, techniques t for memorization. There are lots of different things that you have to memorize um, you know, in your training program, in your educational curriculum that uh, will appear on the tests, and it's essential to um, have techniques and um, tools in your uh, bag of arsenal that you can use um, to um, prepare, pre prepare for your tests. Um, number one, I think repetition is key. Um, in order to kind of memorize a concept or a medication or a fact in history, um, you have to repeat that concept and go over it and over and over again until it is essentially ingrained in you. Um, the way to do this and the way I do it, uh, before lecture, I always review the outline of the lecture and kind of skim through the uh, some of the PowerPoints or kind of skim over the um, concepts that will be talked about. That way, during lecture, you have some recollection of um, uh, the that particular concept because you saw it the night before. Uh, so I always review and kind of get an idea of what will be talked about in lecture. Um, the second time you see it again is when you, um, in lecture, you see that material again. The third time is when I go home and I review that lecture for the day. At the end of the day, in medical school, we had maybe four lectures per day, sometimes five. I would go home and I would, you know, uh, spend a little bit more time uh, than I did the night before and um, just look over those lectures again, just going through those same concepts. And then before the tests, I would have a uh, system in place. Say, for instance, the test was in two weeks and our test was over 60 lectures. I would divide those 60 lectures up over two weeks, and each day I would tackle um, X amount of uh, lectures. So by the time that the test comes, you had reviewed those lectures, those 60 lectures um, again. So um, before test day, you should have seven or eight uh, runs through those uh, particular lectures. So repetition is key. You have to go over the material. You have to go over it and over again to a sticks. Um, one thing that will help that is flashcards. Uh, I use a lot of flashcards in medical school. I use flashcards even to this date studying for residency. Uh, we have in-service exams. People think that um, exams um, end once you complete medical school, uh, but we, you, you always test as a medical professional. You have to recertify. In residency, we take an eight-hour in-training exam every year, the same day every year, uh, and it goes over orthopedic surgery concepts, surgical approaches, uh, different things in orthopedics, and you have to do well on this exam. Um, a flashcard program that I would recommend is called G Flash Pro. G F L A S H P R O. G Flash Pro. It's a free app that you can download on. Um, your iPhone or your uh, smartphone and you can add and create your own um, flashcards. Instead of carrying a um, 500, 600 flashcards around, you can just have this app in your phone and it has all these flashcards in there. And the way you do it, uh, you go to an Excel sheet and in one column you add the question and in the second column you add the uh, answer and then you upload that document to this G Flash program, and that way you can just swipe through this app, and then those are your note cards. So I would just copy and paste from my lecture's uh, notes that the uh, professors handed out into this Excel sheet, upload it to G Flash Pro, and while I'm at the um, red light or while I'm at um, on a bus, uh, while I'm just waiting around, I would just flash uh, go through those flashcards and that app. That was very uh, helpful in medical school, and I think that's what one of the things that helped me um, do well, especially in classes like pharmacology or microbiology, uh, where you have to memorize, memorize lots of these medications and their mechanisms of action, uh, their side effects, 
I would just create um, note cards from my uh, notes from my class. Um, next, I think what really helped me was acronyms. Uh, a lot of people gave me a hard time about this in medical school and especially people, people that I studied with because I, I was always coming up with different acronyms. Um, like for a disease called multiple myeloma, um, the way the patient will present um, is CRAB, C-R-A-B. It's uh, hypercalcemia. They'll present with renal failure, anemia, and Ben's Jones proteins in their uh, urine. So that's, um, that's how a patient with multiple myeloma will present. Or um, if a patient is in PEA or postless electrical um, asystole, uh, what are some causes of that? It's the, uh, the T's, the H's and T's, hyper, um, hypokalemia, hypocalcemia, uh, hypothermia. Um, I forgot all the rest of them, but there's a lot of uh, H's and T's. So um, if you can find out certain acronyms or things that make you laugh or are really funny, really catchy, you'll be more likely to remember those concepts on test day. Um, I used to uh, write things out. That's another way to help you memorize is to, um, uh, if you see a concept and even if it's written right in front of you, it activates a different pathway in your brain that helps you remember it for longer periods of time if you write it out or you can just say it out. Uh, say the concept or the word or the phrase, uh, that's going to help you remember it for a lot longer. Uh, so these are some memorization techniques that I use in medical school to do well. Um, I still use these, some of these techniques to this day. Um, I review the lectures the night before. I review kind of immediately after lecture and I have a system in place where I review it leading up to the test date. Use flash card, cards. Uh, G Flash Pro is a free app that you can download to your phone. Uh, try to think of some acronyms or mnemonics that you can use that will help you memorize. And just try to conceptualize everything. Paint a picture in your head uh, and, and uh, that way you will remember that particular story that you uh, kind of painted in your head while you're studying. Uh, but I hope these techniques will work for you guys. I'm sure they will. will. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, uh, contact me on my website, AntoniaWebMD.com, or uh, my email, OvercomingTheOddsBook at gmail.com. See you next time.